perfect drums, still a great drum library, even in 2025 compared to everything else that's still coming out. Um, I've already done a video like this with the free kit, but I wanted to do this again with the paid for kit just to kind of show you a little bit more in depth look at it, I suppose. And, um, yeah, this, this routing can be applied to most any drum library that doesn't use contact. Now, stuff like GGD and all that, I know the new modern and massive 2 doesn't use contact, but um, if it doesn't use contact, then routing will essentially look just like this, uh, pretty close, depending on the interface. But uh, for GGD stuff, um, I'll probably do a separate video on that or anything that uses contact just to show that a little bit more because it seems like that's where people seem to uh, get confused. And I think it's just because of contact and not knowing it um, that confuses a lot of people. But I digress. For the time being, let's just focus on these drums. So first, we're going to look at the mixer and figure out what tracks we want to make. So obviously, kick, snare. We got three toms, so I'm going to make a tom group. Um, any symbols and all that, that's going to go straight to the overhead and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, you go up here to your other set of channels and you'll see that some of these are like blanked out so you can't send them. And it's like I said, like these ones aren't, but, um, I will show you how to do that as well in just a minute. But for now, let's get our track set up. So we got our perfect drums and we want a kick, snare, toms. Tom one, Tom two, Tom three. Uh, then we're going to do overhead, room, and reverb. Make sure I got all that correct. Let's look back. Bell, yeah, all that, that's going to go to overhead. Boom. Okay. So we got that set up. So what we're going to do next is we're going to have to change these outputs here. Let me go back over the first ones. Like these out one two one two one two. Now you'll see how it all just defaults to one two. Most of the time when people do this, they'll set the kick to one, two, because it's the first one. We're not going to do that just for the sake of a lot of stuff, you know, defaulting to um, one and two. So we're actually going to make the kick three and four. Before we go any further, let's label the tracks down here so we're not confused when we are routing stuff out. All right, now we're gonna take this perfect drums track because this is just going to be the track for MIDI information. Um, let's add another track, Control T or double click, whatever you wanna do, drag that over. And like I uh, showed you in the other tutorial video, click this little folder here, boom. Now everything's going to the drum bus. Perfect. And just for consistency of my colors, I'm just gonna go with red as always, boom. Everything is still just going to come through Oh, where the heck? I had to stop the video and exit full screen because I couldn't see the MIDI information anymore. Um, now I can. The drums we're using, a uh, drum pattern, is uh, Recreant by Chelsea Grin. I just chose a random one. But uh, moving forward, let's open up Perfect Drums again. Now here is where we're going to start routing out the actual uh, kit. So like I said before, we're not doing one and two for the kick. We're gonna go three and four, and we're gonna work our way up. Five, six, Tom one is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now we get to the hat. Uh, so in ours down here, we just have kick, snare, the toms, and then we have overhead room reverb. So we're gonna send all of this to an overhead track, which if that's the case, then we need to make 11, 12. Then our overhead over here is going to be 13, 14. So what we're going to do there is send this to 13, 14, as well as this one, because these are all symbols. We want them to be in the overheads. Now this, uh, let's go to the uh, other set. So wait, we got overhead here, 13, 14. Sorry, I'm going to be a little conjumbled here. Uh, trying to explain this because my brain goes everywhere when I'm doing this, even as I've done it a thousand times. But so we got 13, 14. We're gonna make this 15, 16, and then the reverb 17, 18. So this is all going there. Now let's go to the other channels. Now here is where you'll uh, see like these are blanked out. I still don't understand why, but the ones that aren't send it to we're at 13, 14 for reverb. Yep. All right. 13, 14, 13, 14. Now with these, you have these little direct sends here. 
just send them to overhead. Anything that's a symbol, we're going to overhead. Splash one. All right. Now we have everything routed out the way we want it to. Now when we go back and play this, got nothing. That's because we didn't route it out through the actual channel, the sends. So pause this, go in here. First thing you want to do so you don't get double drum sounds, take this off, check this off. All right. Now what we're going to do is start sending out our audio. So we're going to send one to kick, snare, not the tom bus, because that's where these toms are going. So we've got tom one, tom two, tom three, another one, overhead, room, and then reverb. Now the reverb, I just have it so that way it doesn't default to one, two. Um, I don't really do a whole lot to it really at all, but just to have it there so it's you know not clashing with anything else or causing issues later. So you'll see here, all of these are one, two, one, two, one, two. We're still not getting any sound. And one thing I forgot to mention, what we're gonna do is drag this down. So we got eight tracks. You got one, two, three, whoop, one, two, let's get the time bus, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight tracks, so we want at least 16 track channels on this side. I'm gonna do 20. You always want at least more than what you need or at least, you know, enough. Don't wanna have less for, you know, the obvious reasons. So we'll click that, X out of there. This is all set up now. Now what we can do is go back in here. You see this has got a little bit wider now. Click back in here, go to kick, stereo source, three, four. We're gonna do this for all of them. Stereo source, five, six. Time one was seven, whoops. Seven, eight, nine, 10. And this does kind of get like a little weird to look at for a long time. It is very like, you know, it, it screws with your head for a little bit, even though I've been looking at this for years, it still just messes with my eyes. But moving on, so we got 9, 10, stereo source, 11, 12, stereo source, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And like I said, make sure this is checked off. Otherwise, you're going to have this sound. You're, you'll have double drums, and we don't want that. So we can exit out of this, and now we should have everything routed out. And that's basically it. Um, the whole purpose of doing this is just more control over the drums. Um, I'll do something really, really quick. I'm gonna use a free EQ plugin. You can download this. Um, I can link that in the description if you'd like. You know, I'll just do it anyways. TDR Nova, it's one of my favorite free EQ plugins. So what we're gonna do, take a high pass filter, click it on, drag it up for the kick. Just keep it under 40, whoops. Move it around the 40. All right, drag that over. The snare, uh, I'm just guessing right now, around 90-ish. Typically don't want it to go much lower than that, I suppose, or higher, I mean. Um, toms, this will be subjective to your mix. So Tom one, probably keep that around there. Tom two is gonna be a bit lower, so I'll drag that a little bit to there. And your floor Tom, I'll probably drag that down to like 70. Let's, you know what, let's do 69, ha <laughs> ha. All right, now overheads, I uh, I usually kind of dip this a little bit, but with overheads, I mean, you it's ma it, the overheads are mainly for cymbals, so like all that extra like kick and snare in there, it's not really necessary. Probably about there. And I usually hear this little like woofy noise. Right about there, kind of just dip that a bit. So uh, before, after, this gives it a little bit more of a crisp sound. And then your room, let's just drag another one of these that just has the high pass at the end there. Um, again, you know, this is all subjective. You're all gonna do what you wanna do or what sounds good. I'm just guessing right now. This is just to clean up a lot of the low end. Like I said, with rooms and overhead, let's just drag this down. We want a little bit of kick floating around in the overhead, or the rooms, I mean, a bit more boom. So you'll see it's not a huge difference at all. You barely hear it. But let me un, uh, unsolo this, unmute it, unsolo, whatever. So here's the mix now. Let's let's take these all. 
Let's turn all the EQ off. That's all the EQ off. All the EQ on. All just from filtering out a little bit of low end and like I said, the overhead that just dipped a little bit. But I mean, that's why I love doing this. Because, I mean, it's, it's, it just, it pushes the drum kit a little bit more and gives it more clarity just by filtering out that low end. So that's with everything off again. Let's just go with the faster part. And all I did was filter out some low end junk that you don't really need for a mix. And then from here, you can basically go nuts, customize it however you want. But uh, yeah, I'll link this plugin in the description and um, the perfect drums also in the description that's paid for. I don't know how much it is now. I'm pretty sure they have a second one out now, but I have so many drum libraries. I don't need another one right now. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show this. And like I said, this will apply to most other drum plugins. Um, I need to do one on routing out anything with contact because that is a bit, it's not that bad. A lot of people complain about it and I mean, I get it, but it's also like not that bad. It's not, you know, terrible to figure out. So I'll do one of those next, but I just wanted to show perfect drums because I'm going to be using this kit for a few just fun demo songs for whatever, because it's really good and has, you know, a very polished sound. So I definitely want to utilize it again. But uh, yeah, I hope this helps anyone who's been having problems with routing out drums. It's not terribly hard, but it is a lot to kind of like know if you don't know. So hopefully it helps. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you got any questions about anything else, want to see anything else, whatever. Thanks, guys.